So I made it here to Jacaria, Los Angeles, here in uh, Plano, Texas. I've never smelled food that just smells good from the outside like this. So it smells good. So let me go try it out. But oh yeah, it's packed. It's a small parking lot. It's packed here. But if there's not enough room, I may just drive over to the park and eat. But if I find a space, I'll sit down and eat, and then I'll turn on my GoPro, do a little, a little, uh, a little taste test, right? See what it tastes like. See if it really does taste like L.A. California Mexican food. Let's see. Yeah, I think this is the front side. But let's go in. Let's see. See if it really tastes like LA food or Arizona food. Oh, this smells good. That's crazy. They got a robot, bro. <laughs> okay. Here it is. Got it. Robot deliver my food. Damn, that's a good looking burrito. Here's a quesadilla. All right, so let me test it out. See if it's as good as California. LA, let's see. I just got beans and cheese. I'm pretty basic. Just want to test it out. Just beans and cheese. That's it. This that uh, what's it? Cottage cheese on it. Chicago. Here it's called. You can see it. There's mozzarella cheese in it too. Oh 
Hallelujah. This is my new spot. This is the only good Mexican food in Dallas right here. Taqueria, Los Angeles, here in Plano, Texas. Holy crap. Wow. I'm gonna order some more. I'm gonna order. Uh, I don't eat fish tacos, but someone in my family does. I'm gonna get. I'm going to get four fish tacos with um with uh, no sauce on them. I'm gonna order like two more burritos on the way out. Maybe three. Maybe he'll know what he'll want to eat in one burrito. I don't know. I'm getting more on the way out here. This is amazing. I don't eat sauce, though, really. This pico, pico is hot, man. If it is, I'm not gonna eat it. Dude, it's all good. This really is close to Los Angeles, California food. Right here in Dallas, I don't believe it. Plain on Texas. And I literally, I went to school over here. It's about five to 10 minutes like north of here. That's where I went to college at, but I've never heard of this place, it's amazing. I had to go up there and get the water, so that's all I got, and they have drinks. Up. eating here but yeah in 
returns of Dallas area. I give this food an eight or nine out of ten, which is surprising because Dallas Mexican food is usually terrible. But this place here in Plano is good. So one last shot with the GoPro. Man, let me finish up, do a last little second review. I'll be back. All right, so one last look at the restaurant here. I'm done eating. I think I've been eating for like over an hour here at the car here. I've been eating for over an hour, just taking my time in there. Moan's up there. So I'm gonna go to the park here and uh, do one last minute, you know, sort of in conclusion type of review here. Let me get driving here. But right, here it is. There it is. Taquiria, Los Angeles. Taquiria. I'm trying to learn it. Let me go. Okay, so I'm at the park now. I just came over here to talk for a little bit. So, yeah. Um, the food was actually very good. Better than I thought it would be. Usually, so far the mexican food in dallas area is absolutely terrible and i know people think a lot of the food here is great but that's yeah, you just have to get out and explore more ever since i've had food in uh you know los angeles and san francisco bay area like the food here is it's pretty basic and mediocre compared to out there so this spot here um Tacaridia. Still trying to learn how to pronounce it. Takiedia, Los Angeles. Um, right there in Plano. It's uh, south of Spring Creek Campus, Collin College. That's where I actually went to school at. But uh, I, I don't know. Has it always been there? I don't know. I just, I've never known, right? All these years, if it has been there. But um, so the food and the burrito is freaking amazing. It's difficult to find a good burrito. They have the the burritos are huge, but not like super huge. I think they did have larger sizes you could have gone with, but I just went with a regular burrito. I said beans and cheese. That's all I like on my burritos. Yeah, they, they it can come with rice. You can add your meat. You can add anything. I'm a simple guy. I like beans and cheese on my burritos. All I have. Part of that is because I grew up with like Taco Bueno, beans and cheese burritos, and that's all I've ever known until I started tasting more Mexican food, you know, over the years. But but yeah, um, like I said, I went to Los Angeles in May of 2023. Tried a few Mexican restaurants, uh, and definitely, it's, <laughs> Mexican food out there is definitely better than uh, than Dallas area food. So this place was very close. Um, it was it was pretty damn good. It was definitely better than the other Mexican restaurants around here. That Taquia de la Ventana that I went to, right? That place, and I did a video review of that, go check it out, it's on the channel as well. I did a review of that, I went there the day of the eclipse on Monday, and um, <laughs> last one just told me in the comments, one of the worst burritos they've seen, they didn't even put beans on that one. That, that was a terrible burrito, one of the worst burritos I've had was there at that restaurant. I don't recommend that other restaurant, but, um, but yeah, so, but yeah, just out here at the park, all right, so, chilling here a little bit, but, um, the chicken on the quesadilla, so I got a quesadilla, got the bean and cheese burrito, the beans are pretty good, it was actually refried, but also you can see some of the, you know, the actual whole beans in there, which was nice, so, it was mozzarella cheese mixed with that shredded cottage, I'm saying it wrong, it's not cottage cheese. That shredded looking, I don't know, it's on the tip of my tongue. But that cheese, so, basic, but that's all I needed, right? And then the chick, for, for the chicken, the chicken, and I don't know if it's the same for, you know, the other plate meals with the chicken, for the case to do, it was the, the typical shredded chicken, it was good. But it was a chicken where after a while, like I said, I was eating for over an hour in there, I think. I was in there for, pretty sure they're waiting for me to get out. <laughs> But after a while, you know, the chicken, including the rice, I got a side order of rice, right? The food gets cold and then the chicken sort of dries up more, right? And that's what happened. 
so it's getting like tough to eat later on but it would have been nice I mean, they, it, that would it would have been an extreme plus if the chicken um was that you know that deep grilled chicken that's what i like that deep grilled chicken where they bring in the food and then like everything is like sizzling you know what i'm talking about well the chicken is it, like it is it, it's, it's still bubbling and sizzling and everything when they have it over there so like when they bring it over that's the type of chicken i like at uh you know like uh mexican restaurants so it would have been nice if the quesadilla had that type of grilled chicken but it was just the you know the normal you know shredded chicken i'm assuming sort of grill like but not that deep deep grill that i'm talking about other than that i like i said it's, it's difficult to say in terms of dallas area i don't know in terms of dallas area food I'll give it a say a seven or eight out of ten. It's way up there compared to other Dallas food. I'm telling you right now, it's up there. I give it a seven or eight, eight and a half, close to a nine. I'm not sure. I know earlier I said a nine, like mm, not sure. I'll give it a seven or eight, eight point five out of ten. As for you know, as for Dallas Mexican food, as for comparing to you know Los Angeles. Um, the Mexican restaurants that even the, the few that I've tried I I don't know I give it it's weird it's between a 5.5 and a 7 somewhere so you can't put it at the top of LA food obviously but it's somewhere it's close though like the it's just better than the normal Dallas Mexican food around here That's and I told her that when I went back I went, went back up to her the cashier girl and uh, and I ordered you know some more food to go and i told her i said this is like the best mexican restaurant that i've had in dallas here in a while and i told her it was one of the best burritos it's difficult to find you know good burritos in the area and i told her that so i wasn't lying but um it's good so but yeah like the best mexican food i've had was like it hasn't been since like i said may 2023 when i was out there in l.a and then before then, not necessarily Mexican food, but just the other food in general that I had was good. That was when I was uh, at San Francisco Bay Area out there, uh, East Bay and everything, when I was uh, doing my internship at Pixar. And, but still, I still say, even after eating that food and LA food, the few LA food that I've had so far, I still, I still need to go out there and try more. But still, The best Mexican food I had is Alberto's Mexican restaurant on Route 66 in Arizona. Best burrito I've ever had. It was, I just got simple beans and cheese burrito. Uh, Alberto's Mexican restaurant. Look it up. I actually recorded videos, but I never got around to it. So that's all I have to say about that. that that's still, for me, a 9 or a 10 out of 10. Maybe an 11 out of 10. Ali Bar chose a Mexican restaurant. It, it still has it for me. But yeah, try out the restaurant here. Um, it's in Plano. Uh, it's good. You heard it from me. Like That's going to be my new burrito spot at least. You know, if I ever want to go get some Mexican food. like there's, So that's on my list. It's been years since I found a good Mexican food you know, restaurant here. But it's on my list now. I don't eat out too much, but when I do, I like to make sure it's good. I like to look up the top rated restaurants like that Takieda, Takieda La Ventana restaurant on Soda Springs over there. Uh, and Dallas, like, it's overrated, man. I went to, like, it had, that place has, like, a four or five out of five on Yelp.com. I, like, honestly, if I rated that restaurant on Yelp, I would give it a one. You know, it only goes to five points. But the one I just went to here is like a four, four point five, I'll give it. So it's way up there for me. But anyway, that's my review of the food right there. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you. Take care. I'm out. Peace.